Hello, so welcome to another video. I wanna teach you today how you can design this groovy little graphic inside Canva. Um, it is really, really simple, really straightforward. I'm not gonna to take too long to explain it, but I just thought this is such a great way to show off if you're particularly running a masterclass or promoting a masterclass or a webinar or a workshop and you want people to know what you're actually presenting and kind of give a bit of a, 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 a teaser of this is how much value is inside this workshop. This is the way you can cheekily just like show your slides and help people to see what the goodness is um, and just arrange that in a really beautiful way. Like I personally save this as a GIF and I added this into an email that I sent out to my list last night letting them know I had a masterclass or a workshop coming up. So I want to show you how I did that. So firstly, what you're going to do is go to your slide presentation. So this is mine just here. All you want to do first is click on a slide and I want you just to press Control A or Command A if you're on Mac and select all of the slides. So for me, I'm actually in this view where I've clicked this little up arrow to show pages. And so instead of scrolling to view my pages, I can scroll across to see all my pages. So I'm going to select them all. Then you can see down here, they've all become highlighted. After I've done that, I want to click on the animation tool up here. Now, this has already been um, set up for me because I've, I've already done this. But for you, this could this is probably going to say five seconds or something. Um, and so for you, what I want you to do is to click on this timing and then just press point 0.2. You can do point 0.2, you can do point 0.5. If you want to do it really slow, you can do it slower. I like it and just moves through really quickly because obviously I don't want to give away what I'm showing in, this, in, the, in the presentation. I just want people to get a bit of a vibe of what's going to be there. So I'm going to press point 0.2 and now that's going to make each of these slides go for point 0.2 seconds when I save it as a full video or a full GIF. So obviously make sure you undo this if you're going to present your slides and it's going to automatically play through them all. Um, but for me, just for right now, I'm going to press this and then I'm going to go to now, I'm going to go to share. Now for this step, you can either save as a, if I'm going to press download, you can either save as a, um, a GIF, so just a really short um moving image or you can save as an mp4 video honestly either is totally okay i'm just going to do gif for the sake of it gif is going to be slightly lower quality which to be honest when i'm sending an email is a good thing but if you're sharing this to like an instagram feed or something else that doesn't need a small file type then you don't need to do a gif but i'm going to do a gif Press share. I'm going to just do. I'm going to do one to sixty-six because that's not. I don't need all of my slides in this one. So you can just select if you don't want all your slides. Just select the range that you want to do, and press download. And so that's then going to download to your computer. While that's waiting, I highly recommend you select all your slides again and just probably probably actually go to remove all animations. Um, make sure there's nothing going on there and also bring this to like five or 10 seconds just in case for some reason your slideshow starts playing and you just don't want it and don't want to go through everything really quickly. So just change that back to 10 seconds just to be safe. It's probably going to be fine, but just doing that. So while that's waiting for the download, I'm now going to open up a new design. So I'm just going to go to, it doesn't really matter what size you do this. I'm going to do Instagram square because I just, I want it to be a square image and this is just to find dimensions to use. But if you've got a particular need in mind, like if it's going to go on an email, make it quite small, make it like 500 or 600 pixels big. Um, or if you're going to put it on like a, a giant image on something in particular, I'm not sure what you would put it on, but make it whatever size you need it to be. I'm doing Instagram square size just for the sake of it. What I'm going to do now is insert a, uh, a laptop image. So what I'm going to do is go to elements and search laptop. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can either find a particular image like this one or this one if you want a particular style, or you can even find a photo. So say, for example, if I go to photos, um, you could actually find a photo that's got this a laptop that's really that's square on. Like you don't want anything that's on an angle. You want it so that it's square. Um, so you could use this one or you could use this one, for example. This one's probably better. Um, or for me, I like to keep it simple and my branding is simple. It's not simple, but it's kind of like it's stripped back with five elements added in. Um, so I'm going to type laptop again. That was silly to have gotten out of that laptop and then I'm actually going to go to the frames button here because that makes it super simple but I will actually show you both. So this one here is an option and then I'll also do it with this one here. Now I'm going to go back to my slides over here and check they're almost finished downloading. Um, so once that's finished I can then add those into my square but for the meantime I'm actually going to go to um, my photos here. So I've got a whole folder of my branding photos. Uh, this isn't even all of my photos, but I've got a, a folder here. So I've got just Fee photo shoot because my photographer's name was Fee. I'm gonna press see all here. I'm gonna just insert a photo like so. Um, now I'm gonna go to edit image and press background mover. This is on the Canva Pro version. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you might be able to 
background remover going into like, like lit you could literally just Google image background remover and there will be other free programs that will do it for you. But highly recommend Canva Pro if you want to. I'm just going to save that GIF. This is prompting me to save the GIF to my computer. Um, and so I'm going to go and just background remove this image. While that's happening, a really great method I recommend you do is just to crop this down. So not so it's the full image, but just crop it down using these little rectangle handles to make sure that it's cropping in so it's close to you, just so it doesn't you don't get frustrated later on accidentally clicking somewhere else and you're clicking onto a blank space, but it's actually the leftover part of this image. It just gets really annoying. So just press apply. And then I'm going to just sit that there for the meantime. I'm now going to go to my uploads and upload that GIF that I just downloaded. So I'm going to press download um, and that's going to come into my videos over here. Now, this is one I did yesterday, so I'm just going to jump straight to that. But what I can do is pick this up. You can do this for a GIF or a video and drag this into inside to the laptop frame. And now you can see my GIF is popping up into there, which is really, really really helpful. If you want to do an image or something that's not a frame, you can literally just insert this and then just crop it down. So I'm just going to move this around, make it the right size, bring that up, make it small like this, and then just crop it this way a little bit. I'm obviously going to crop off a little part of the slideshow, but that's not the end of the world unless there's really important info there. Um, I'm actually going to double click on this and just move it so it's centered inside the cropped frame that I've done. And so that can be the exact same way that you can do anything at all. I'll just quickly show you a photo while we're here um, so you can see how that would work. If I just go back into the photos here and I'll just insert um, this one here. So you could just grab this frame and pop it over the top of a photo like so, just cropping it down and moving it to be the right size. I'm going to make it a bit wider. And now it's kind of like it's inside this photo frame. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to continue designing this. So obviously you could stop at this point. You could stop at just this point. That'd be totally fine. But I wanted to show you a little bit more just in case you wanted to be more playful and fun with your designs. So grabbing a photo of me, because I'm a personal brand, it makes a lot of sense for me to place pictures of me places So because it helps people to recognize and to connect with the person that's going to be presenting the workshop. I'm going to drag this up here. Now, you'll see that it's hopped itself inside my frame. I don't want that, and that's really frustrating. To fix that, I'm going to hold down Command on my keyboard. I believe it's Control if you're on a PC. I'm on a Mac. So if I press Control, you'll see that it's now no longer going inside the frame, but I'm literally holding Control while I'm doing this. So if I let go of Control right now, it's going to go back inside the frame. So if I hold Control, control or command then I can pop this here and pop it next to it like that I'm going to then click my mouse and drag this so it's just a bit bigger so I can see it now I'm just going to spice it up a little bit add in some of my brand elements so for me again I have a whole folder on my canva for my white deer brand elements so if I click on this um, and then press the seal button you can see I've got some clouds and bubbles and that's my brand vibe so for me I'm going to add in maybe a little bit of a cloud down here again I'm going to hold down command so my image doesn't go inside the frame and then I'm going to just press position and send it backwards. The shortcut for this is doing this exact key here, the, the um, command and then the square bracket left, which you can go, if I just click on this, and go back, back and forward just by pressing on my keyboard, those things. Um, pop that there. And then I'm also going to pop in a bubble. So I'm just going to grab that. And again, it's gone inside my, my frame. So I'm just going to hold command and then it won't do that. Make this a bit smaller. Move it around maybe to here. Again, use the square brackets to pop it to be behind my picture and behind the computer. And all of a sudden, I've got a really beautiful image that I can now use everywhere. You could make this an Instagram post. You could pop a whole background on it. So for me, I have some backgrounds here. And then I could just share that straight away to my Instagram. I would you would have to save it as an MP4 video. Instagram at the moment, at the time of recording this, is only doing videos as reels, I believe. So make sure that you actually change this to being real dimensions. Um, otherwise, it will crop really weirdly when people are viewing your, 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 your video. Um, or for me, I'm going to save this to be an email image. So I'm going to make this a little bit... Actually, a hack for you that I've, that I've learned recently that I think you'll love. You can actually... I don't have to save this whole design. I can actually just... I'm going to pop this background back. I can actually just save this part here. So what I've done is I've clicked my mouse and dragged, hold, click and drag down so it selects everything. Then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to press download selection. And I press download selection. It's going to pop up to this download section here, but it's actually only going to save what I've got selected. So I'm going to change this to being um, a GIF. Make this a bit smaller because emails really need to be small file types and they don't need to be ginormous, so 600 or less. Maybe even there could be good, but pop it into your email server. It's going to be a little bit pixelated, but um, it's going to not take too long to load in people's emails, which is more important because otherwise you might go to people's spam. I'm going to go around here though because I don't think that should be too bad. Then I'm going to press download and um, and that will then download, as you can see in this preview, just the part that I've selected, which is so, so helpful if you're working on a whole design, you just want to quickly save a small portion of that. Amazing. So now I want to show you what it actually looks like as a saved image. So if I click on this, you'll see that it's 
exactly as I saved it. It doesn't have a transparent gra background because at the moment Canva doesn't save transparent backgrounds. So this is actually white. So just make sure you change the background to whatever you need it to be for your email server. I want to show you, this is what, how it turned out on an email sent out yesterday. So I've got my banner up here, which I could have also made a moving GIF if I wanted to. But down here, I just added in an image of myself um, with that with that picture of the, the moving slides in it. So just a little bit of interest into my designs, shows a little bit of what's inside the masterclass, warms people up, gets people interested. And it was really, really simple and quick to do. So I hope that's been helpful for you. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe because I am hoping to present a lot more of these tutorials in the future, as well as a lot of design hacks and industry things that you just need to know to create really great designs for your business. And if you aren't already, please jump over and follow me on Instagram. My handle is white dear GD, or you can jump over to my podcast and learn more about branding and design and marketing strategies. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye.